We're following major new developments in Gaza and the return of a Bay Area doctor who was trapped in the war zone. Israel's military is pushing deeper into the city of Rafa in southern Gaza. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians have been displaced and are trying to find a refuge, a safe shelter, if that even exists. And a Bay Area doctor who was trapped in Rafa for nine days has finally made it home. We first told you about Dr. Halisha Lekholi Salami two weeks ago. Our Kevin Co. met with her today in her home in Mountain View, where she says it's been a bittersweet return. There is no safe zone. There could be safer zones, but there is no safe zone in Gaza. And when, uh, you know, sometimes I would be, uh, uh, you know, jolted out of sleep uh, from the bombardments. Dr. Halesh Shekoslami is back home after leaving for Gaza on May 1st and being stranded for more than a week. Six days after she entered through the Rafa crossing, it was shut down. When that stopped, that was a, a big blow. Not was it, you know, like we couldn't get out, uh, you know, because of that, but also because we knew no new um, aid could come in. This is where she worked, the Tel Al Sultan Primary Health Care Center. She saw about 40 patients a day, including many children, treating infectious diseases like acute diarrhea and hepatitis A caused by unsanitary water and food. Last night I watched a clip of um, video of uh, Tel Al Sultan being um, bombarded and the next thing I saw was the same clinic, the same area that I was working at, the room that I would go in, there were bodies. It was one day after Dr. Sheikh Oslami returned home in what's being described as the tent massacre, an Israeli airstrike in a makeshift encampment in Rafa's Tel Al Sultan area, killed at least 35 people, according to Palestinian health workers. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called it a tragic mistake, with video from CBS News showing the hospital. Dr. Shekoslami worked in full of dead and wounded children. Don't get me wrong, I love to be back with my family. Uh, they've been very supportive, but you know, it came at a cost of kind of living behind um, my co workers, my colleagues there, and also the people I have met in Gaza who I knew could not. Uh, come out. Dr. Halish Shekhalislami is a local hero. She did what most people could only imagine doing. She put her life on the line. Zara Bilu with the Bay Area's Council on American Islamic Relations says what Dr. Shekhalislami feels isn't surprising. What we've been hearing for months from anyone who has been able to go is that there is this heartbreak in the privilege of choosing to leave. They are carrying survivor's guilt because they are home and safe with their families when they want to be doing more. If it becomes a bit safer, I would like to go back. I think I find that there's just so much need. If, and hopefully the war stops soon. If all of this stops now, there's just so much that the country needs. That's Dr. Shekoslami's other pressing concern, captured through these images she took of the destruction she saw. That as the war continues, the work for Palestinians to rebuild their homes and communities only grows.